Good morning. Welcome to Noonday Prayer at St. Mark's. We'll get started in just a few minutes. Noonday Prayer start on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. Please say hi in the comments and put any prayer requests that you have. Hi, Amanda. Welcome. I'm actually using one of your meditations that you gave us for the meditation today. So thank you, Amanda. Hi, Frida. Hi, Henry. Welcome. We'll get started in just a minute here. We're on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. If you have any prayer requests, put them in the prayers. We'll pray for Mark. Hi, Margaret. Welcome. Good morning, Vicki. Hi, Christy. We'll pray for Jesse. I hear the tornado sirens, which means it's noon on Wednesday. So we'll let the sirens turn off and then we'll get started. We're on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. All right, we'll get started. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet, and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, for the meditation today, I want to uh, first share something cool that one of our parishioners has done. It's actually Amanda. She's praying with us right now. Uh, if you go to the church office, if you ever buy, you can get these little uh, little pieces of paper full of wisdom quotes. Uh, 
and I got one today and it, it, uh, it reminded me of something else that I heard earlier. So there's a lot of synchronicity going around with the theme of, of patience and waiting. Uh, one thing I heard, what heard this morning was, you know, one of the best ways to get to your goals or your dreams in life is the fastest way is to go slowly, that things take time, that there's a lot of in between times. And uh, then I got this little words of wisdom at the office, and it's a quote from Rilke, and it's also about patience. And so when that kind of synchronicity happens in our lives, I think we need to listen. So at least I need to listen. I need to be more patient. Uh, and uh, I invite, you know, if, if God's calling you to patience too, I invite you uh, to hear that. So we'll listen to this wisdom uh, quote. Be patient toward all that is unsolved in your heart and try to love the questions themselves like locked rooms and like books that are now written in a very foreign tongue. Do not now seek the answers which cannot be given you because you would not be able to live them. And the point is to live everything. Live the questions now. Perhaps you will then gradually, without noticing it, live along some distant day into the answer. And that's by Rainer Rilke. So patience, uh, this idea of participating in God's and the Spirit's action in our lives requires time and grace and circumstances working on us. Uh, and so we have to let, we have to give room for the Holy Spirit as one of my uh, uh, seminary professors would say. Uh, so be faithful in our prayers be able to uh, withstand some tension, some some uh, sort of unknowingness and uncompleteness. And then as we're doing that, as we're waiting, as we're patient, we realize that God has been working in our lives all along. So that's what uh, I think the Spirit is saying to me these days, and um, I hope it's helpful. Uh, we'll continue in our prayers. I invite you uh, to... Uh, Add any prayers that you have in your prayer requests, and uh, we will continue. We're on page 106 of the Book of Common Prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. In our St. Mark's prayer list, we pray for the Episcopal Church, for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, the Presiding Bishop, Larry, our Bishop, our Clergy, Billy, Joanna, Michael, Patricia, Susan, and Stuart, our Staff and Vestry. In the Anglican Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Highveld, the Anglican Church of Southern Africa, in the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for St. Francis House and its ministry. We pray for Camp Mitchell. We pray for Christ Church Forest City, Good Shepherd Forest City, and lay professionals in the church. We pray for peace. We pray for an end to racism, terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, and persecution. We pray for all our St. Mark staff, especially this week, Cedric Gaither, our sexton. And we pray for all our parish ministries, especially this week, the prayer shawl ministry. We pray for the safety of first responders, healthcare workers, and those in the military, especially Megan, Sam, Breen, Marshall, Garrett, and Kyle. We pray for all families who are expecting children 
We pray for all parishioners who are in need, sick, or homebound, and for those commended to our prayers, Cole, Austin, Rachel, Betsy, Craig, Mary Sue, Suzanne, Janet, Adam, Jan, Jim, Amanda, Rusty, Blake, Seal, Judy, the Owens family, Laurie, the Towner Weber family, Barbara, Sean, Fernando, Billy, Becky, Nate, Lovered, the Wagner family, Ellen, Wes, Eva, Linda, Ron, Tom, Mike, Bill, Susie, Drew, John and Faye, Kathy, Mary, Macy, Rich, Mary, Kathy, Laura, Miley, Dan, John, John, Sarah, Barbara, William, Rita, and Brian. We pray for Michael Mitchell for healing. We pray for all those celebrating birthdays today and all those who are celebrating wedding anniversaries today. And we pray for all who have died. In our Facebook prayers, we pray for Sharon and Lou and Jean. We pray for Wanda, Gary, and Gloria. We pray for Michael Mitchell. We pray for an effective UN agreement to slow climate change. We pray for all the uh, especially the Episcopal deputation to the United Nations, climate change. We pray for Jesse. We pray for Mark. We give thanks for everyone who's, who's on Facebook praying with us today. I invite you uh, to lift up your own prayers of intercessions or thanksgivings at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for uh, taking a pause in your day to pray with me here on Facebook. I hope you have a great wet rest of your Wednesday. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.